Welcome and thank you for watching The Beat on Creation. I am Erica Christie coming to you from Washington, D.C. and this is BlurredCon 2017. Hey everybody, I am here at BlurredCon and I'm speaking to N. Stephen Harris. So. Watson and Holmes, Ajala, you do all kinds of things. I have a couple questions about Ajala. So I know you're the co-creator of it. So why is it important to you to have a young black female be the lead character in this story? Oh, because, uh, I mean, black women have done so much in the history and they, they, and they, they get so little recognition. And I just, I just wanted to accentuate uh, some of the things I've seen, not just other physical attributes, but what they what they bring to the culture, what they what they contribute to the culture, and to the movements and just to history, and I like to and when I'm I'm, in, I'm based in New York, and I see a lot of styles that I want to just showcase and not just show, showcase the glam thing that you see every day or or we get shoved down your throat. I want to showcase the culture, the natural hair, the hairstyles, the clothing, the attitude, the the flavor, the subtleties, and so we have a young girl. Uh, that we showcase, and uh, we want to, in, in doing that, we want to showcase uh, the culture without it being a forefront, but it's still an important part of the story. We have a, we have a narrative we want to pr promote, and in the background, we have, we show culture, nuances, and things people may recognize growing up in the black community or in the New York community, and this gives us the opportunity to do this, to do that because uh, the story takes place in current day Harlem, and I mean I grew I, I didn't grow up in Harlem, but I lived in Harlem for about ten years. Uh, most of my, I mean, uh, from when I was first an adult to about, well, yeah, from my adult, early adulthood uh, on, I was in Harlem, now I'm in Brooklyn, but I grew up in Jersey. But uh, so uh, there's a lot of things I want to showcase from that experience. I mean, I'm not the writer, but still, I, 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 I've, I've added to the uh, plot, and uh, the writer has grew up, grew up in New York, New York as well. So, um, so we wanted to showcase some of that in the story. And one thing I really like about her is that she's out protecting the community like that like really struck me as soon as I found I started reading about that and, and everything has a context it's not it's just not her by herself she's part of a family she's part of a community organization that's about that so there's, there's context to what she does she's being uh, honed and trained to be better and not just go out on her own and just do what willy-nilly because she she's only 13 so uh, there's a context and a culture and a system behind her that has a history uh, because her, like I said, we, we, we do a family because uh, part of the organizations, the organization she's a part of, the CSC, was founded or co-founded by her great-grandfather in the 19, 1930s. So we want to showcase that too. I mean, that's, that's, that's highlighting issue two of Ajala. Yeah, so the, and you mentioned Harlem. Harlem is literally a character in the book. Do you think this kind of story would work somewhere other than in Harlem? Well, it could, but you know, I, we know Harlem a little bit. I mean, I, I, a little bit we know Harlem. Uh, I mean, I just, I, need, I need, just lived there. I was a part of some community groups. I was a part of an organization or two, and we we didn't work in the community. And a, a, one of this organization that I was a part of, that I'm still a part of. Anyone can say they love black people, but if you really love people, black people, you got to work for black people. And that is a challenge. That can be very challenging because a lot of ideas, a lot of like egos, a lot of pers uh, personalities, a lot of opinions. And when you serve, it uh, is a very thankless thing. But if you love someone, you, you work with them and you work for them and you work, like I said, work with them and try to make things better in the community. So, uh, so we, I think we, ha we have some uh, things to offer and incorporate in the story. You know, I, I, get, I mean, I'm, a, I'm much as I'm big on anime and comics and action, I want to incorporate it with the culture as well of, 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 of African American culture. And, that, and, that, and that's, that's what some, some people, some things every people, everybody does. I mean, Japanese, we love anime and, and Japanese culture, but they, they unapologetically in, incorporate their culture into it. So we, I think we need to do something like that as well. And you were just talking about the artwork. I have the hardest time flipping through pages because every single panel I'm gonna say is dynamic, but dynamic isn't even like an exciting enough word. Like I will catch myself just staring at panel after panel and not even paying attention to the story because I'm so caught up in like the visuals of what I'm looking at. Like how much attention do you put into 
putting that dynamic, uh, the emotion, every single background character has interesting looks on their face. Like, do you spend a lot of time focusing on that? Y yes and no. I mean, um, I research uh, uh, what's going to be in the, in the script. I mean, it's, in research is so much, so much more easier now than it was in the 90s. Because, uh, I mean, uh, before, uh, it's a com before it was a combination of taking shots or taking photographs at certain scenes and buying books or going to a picture library in midtown Manhattan and collecting a uh, reference from the library. Now I go on Google, Bing, image searches, all that, and the like, images are right there for me. And so uh, as far as looks, characters' looks, uh, it's easy because you know, I, I, there's, there's, everyone has different head shapes. I start with that, a different shape of the body, different shapes of the heads, and incorporate different things that I remember from people's uh, looks, eyes. I also have a, like a long, a long training of uh, doing uh, life drawings and just drawing over the over a period of time. So uh, I, I have a lot cataloged in my head, but I, I mean, I'm not shy from using reference. I'm not shy away from using reference. And I would never shy away from using reference. But sometimes uh, I've got things down there where I don't have to use reference all the time. But definitely for buildings, cars mechanical stuff just to get because yeah, I want to use reference to make more things look, look more authentic and real. So whether I'm drawing someone, if I'm drawing a, a certain scene like 125th Street, I want to get that right, you know, so. You go to 125th Street. Or just get reference on Bing or Google from 125th Street. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, thank you so much. I love the story. I love all the other stuff you do. So thank you very much. All right. And we are here at BlurredCon.